In this video, we're going to do a common problem referred to as the bouncing ball problem, and it's using the sum of an infinite geometric series. So let's dive into this example, and I'll show you how this works. So it says here a ball is dropped from a height of 20 feet, and then it rebounds 65% of its previous height on each successive bounce. Find the total vertical distance traveled by the ball before coming to rest. So if you can kind of visualize this, you're dropping it from a height of 20 feet, it falls, then it bounces back up, but not quite as high, just 65% of that previous height. It falls again, then it goes up, but not quite as high as that, that bounce. So it keeps getting smaller and smaller. You can almost kind of visualize this kind of like this. It drops, then it comes up, then it goes down, then it comes up, then it goes down. Now, now the thing is, it's just bouncing up and down like this, right? but it gradually less and less high each time until it eventually settles. What's interesting about this problem is two things. One is that it's a geometric series, right? So what you can think about is you start off with falling 20 feet, then it goes up 20 times 0.65, then when it goes up the next time it's times 0.65 again. The thing is, is that when you first drop it, you see you have this initial drop of 20 feet. Let's just diagram that out right here. So 20 feet. But then when it goes up on this next bounce, not only does it travel up, but it also travels down. Travels up, travels down. But this one just has that one initial drop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna think about this. Okay, let me just kind of show you on the calculator. So 20, uh, okay, then times 0.65. So this height right here, okay, that distance is 13 feet. Okay, if we multiply by 65% again, this one has a height of 8.45. And then if we do, Again, by, okay, five point, I'm rounding here a little bit, four, nine, et cetera. So basically what we're doing, you see we're multiplying by 0 0.65, 0 0.65, 0 0.65. When you multiply by the same quantity each time, that's a geometric series. The dot, 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 this is infinite. In order to find the sum, we're going to use this infinite geometric sum formula, A1 over 1 minus R, where A1 is our first term, R is our ratio, what we're multiplying by each time. Okay, so if we were to look at that, we're going to ignore the initial drop of 20 feet. We're going to start with 13, and I'll show you why. So 13 over 1 minus 0 0.65, that comes out to uh, about 37.14. But that's just counting not the up and the down. It's just, see, it's just 13, 8.45, 5.49, etc. We, we're going to have to actually double this okay, to account for the up and down. Okay, so now we're looking at more like 74.28, right? Plus the initial drop of 20 feet. So that's 94.28 feet is the total distance traveled by this, this ball until it finally comes to rest. Now, is there another way to do this problem? Well, you know, one way to do it is you could treat this as two different uh, series. You could say, well, I'm going to start with 20 over 1 minus the ratio 0.65 plus, so that's the one doing all the down drops. You have the down, down, down like that. Then we're going to do one for all on the up, up, you know, <laughs> going upwards directions. That's going to be the first term would be 13. And we can add those together. Let's see what this comes out to. So 20 divided by 0.35 is about 57. 0.14, and here we have 13 divided by 0.35, which is 37.14. Add those together, 94.28, so exact same answer. So that's one way to do it, is to separate the down uh, parts from the up parts, or I just kind of like to ignore the initial drop, figure out this is our first term, double that sum, because you're doing the up and down, and then just add the initial 20-foot drop at the end. Either way, you're going to get the same answer. Great job. If you want to learn more about sequences and series, okay, uh, arithmetic, geometric, and some of the problems involved, follow me over to that video right there where I go into more details learning about sequences and series. I'll see you there.